this is this has to be the like this is this is a real psychological warfare that we're going through right now. I'm gonna wait till everybody get on. Can y'all hear me? Just let me know if y'all can hear me. This is this is this is not our village, man. This 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 can't be. This what's up? This can't be us. This is not what we represent. This is not what a man's man looks like. This is a man's man is not a person that got the most money. All right, bet crack. What's up, Buddha? A man's man is not a person who got the most money. A man's man is not a person that's the toughest. A man's man leads his village. He's a leader. He teaches his village principles, morals. He controls his emotions. He can talk. He can protect as well, though. He can't be a chump. No, you can't be a chump. Out here trying to protect your wife, your girlfriend, and your children. No. But you're not a coward, but you're not a bully either. This is, this is not what a man's man is. And it's psychological warfare. They're not beating you up no more. They're not hitting you with nothing. They're not shooting you. They're not making you do things that you don't want to do. They're psychologically making you do things psychologically. It's a psychological warfare. It's impossible to be in jail putting a movie together with an illegal phone, knowing damn well when you get caught, you're going to lockdown. So they're psychologically letting this go under the rug and it's pushing through. They're making prison comfortable so you can go in there and be the same way. So you telling me this is us? not us this ain't got nothing to do with anybody gay this ain't got nothing to do with somebody trans this ain't got nothing to do with that this don't have nothing to do with a person being gay okay what it does is it, it makes it makes us it makes us as black men accessible to the fucking the the it makes us weak. They are making prison so accessible, so relaxing to imprison us to be slaves psychologically. Remember, they don't they don't give us a gun. They just put guns out there. They don't give us the drugs to actually use. They don't put a gun to you and say, use the drugs. They just put the drugs out there. Remember, black people are not bringing drugs through customs in abundance. Black people are not bringing, bringing drugs through, through customs in abundance. All right? These things got to get through customs. The higher up say, yo, listen, bust this move and bring it through. If I'm in jail, I know that I can get caught by actually putting my face out there, making a small skit, small movie for it to go viral. 
And you know shit like that is going to go viral because one is jail, two is black men, three, those black men can really act, they're talented, and four is portraying gay people. This is not us. Being gay, I'm not talking about being gay. I'm talking about when you make a black man, a black man is the fucking most used man in, a, in the world, in the galaxy. They use us for everything. Entertainment, all types of entertainment. Shut up and dribble. Play football. You better go be a porn star and fuck and give us views. Be the best actor. They make black men be everything entertaining. Now they got us in jail entertaining y'all. We're fucking sex slaves. We're fucking construction slaves. We're fucking movie slaves. We're fucking sports slaves. We're every fucking slave in the world. They fucking use us for everything. They use us for sex entertainment. They use us for sports entertainment. They use us for music entertainment. Black men are used in every level. Every fucking level. And they throw that shit under the rug. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And they throw that shit under the rug and they leave it there. This is crazy. When are we going to lead our village? It's nothing wrong. You don't got to be the most righteous man. You ain't got to be the most, oh, black power. We shall overcome. Let's march together. You ain't got to be like that. I got friends that are not like that, but they are a man's man. Guess what they're doing? They got their kids every day. They're walking with their kids. They talking with their kids. They're leading by example. They wake up with their kids. They, they cook food for their kids. Even if they can't cook, they making oodles and noodles. And them oodles and noodles are appreciated because daddy gave it to me. When these kids look around, where daddy at? Where daddy at? I'll be looking at this shit like my man Buddha on here. Buddha is on here. His son be fiending for him. They don't show that type of shit. They don't show a black man being sturdy, being a man's man. His vertebrae is not crooked. He ain't got a crooked vertebrae. His vertebrae is this strong, this strong. He's every day with his kids, man. They ain't talking down. They talk down on black men psychologically, verbally. That's all they do is show us in the negative light. They don't never show us with strength, with power. They don't show us working out. They don't show us getting up on that bar, being warriors. They don't show warriors, man. We're warriors. This is how they portray us. We lose, we lose, we are losing in every category, but death and in prison. And when they show us in this type of manner, this is how we, oh, psychologically, I see what the Willie Lynch letter meant. Let me calm down so y'all can get this. The Willie Lynch letter said, bring the most aggressive nigger to the middle of the village. I'm going to bring this back. The Willie Lynch letter said, bring the most aggressive nigger in front of the village. All right. The nigger that's aggressive. He's a he's a wrecking ball. He's always, he's take so much pain. He's enduring pain for his village. He's the only one that's going against the slave master. So we got to make an example out of him. Bring him in front of the village. Tie him up. Right? And since 
he got the mandango since all the women love his his skin his texture his structure his fucking density his mandango bit all that shit since all the women plus their own women love us we're gonna make them weak tie him up and whoop his ass and guess what the mother the mother is gonna bring his son to the village and say, don't be like daddy. I don't want you to get whipped. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want them to hurt you. Daddy don't listen. Daddy, he's not following the rules. The most emotional creature is women. They have the children. So this is how we get closer to their women by doing something to the men to make them emotional. So, that, so, so the son is not looking up to his father as a hero no more. He don't look up to his dad as a hero because mommy said daddy gave his ass whoop and I don't want to get my ass whoop. So I'm going to do what the fucking crackers tell me to do. Come on, man, y'all not hearing me. Y'all not hearing me, man. Y'all not hearing me. Y'all not hearing me. Y'all don't hear me. This shit is not us. This shit is not us. So if you see a black man, I don't give a fuck if he working at McDonald's. He get up every fucking day. He take his kids to school. He go to work. He paying the bills. He has, he, he has patience. You pay homage to that man because they got us looking fucking crazy out here. They got us looking crazy out here. Black men is not that. That's not us. We don't fucking portray as being gay and we in jail and we having fucking fun. We go out there and take care of our fucking families. We're educators. We're protectors. We're providers. We not just sex slaves. We're not just sports entertainers. We're not just movie entertainers. We're not just rappers and, and all that bullshit. No, we, man, we a man's man. We provide. Fuck is wrong with So that Willie Lynch letter, whether it was real or not, is still being used today. You understand? This shit got me in my swag right now, man. Because we don't point out the strength of a black man. We the ones that's dying to this day for our village. They killing us, y'all. They're killing us. We're killing each other. They're killing us. They want us to, we're in jail. We're going to be gone soon. That's it, man. That's it. That's not the way. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, let's play this shit for the last time. That's somebody dad. That's somebody's father in there. That is somebody's father. And understand that the racist white man, wait a minute.
understand that the racist white man strategically let this shit slide. That shit not cool, man. What's up? You seen that shit? Nah, what happened? Huh? Nah, what happened? Two times. You didn't see that shit? Uh -uh. They got a fucking gel. Niggas is in jail portraying to be women. Oh, yeah, I seen, seen that. that shit, right? Yeah. That shit was crazy, bro. Come on, man. And they used to tell me to cut my beard off. They used, to, they used to, no disrespect to those that can't grow a beard. I'm not talking about that. But I'm talking about, they used to tell me, I remember back in the day, they used to tell me, yo, you got to cut your beard off. I said, but then they don't want me then. They don't want me. I'm fucking black. I'm six foot two. I got, I'm husky. I got a beard. I bring, when I walk in the room, it's a different type of aura. Respect my aura. I'm black. I'm a man. Fuck you want me to do? Tuck my penis in and walk in? That's not happening. Fuck am I? I'm not doing that, man. I'm not compromising shit. They don't want that's right, Buddha, they don't want me here then. You understand what I'm saying? That was somebody's dad in there. That was somebody's father in there, man. I love y'all, man. Man, I love y'all, man. Facts, man. I really do, man. And the guys that's from my block, they know the vibes, man. Know what I'm saying? I love y'all, man. I'm about to get back. Um, I couldn't be, I couldn't be all fat trying to protect the village and really go out there and save lives. This is why I'm working out. I love you too, crack. You know it. This is why I'm on. This is why I'm touching Deborah. This is why I'm touching Barbara. Our kids to see this type of shit, men, uniting. Look at that, you see that? Come on, you see that? This is where we at. We need to get this shit built in Philly. This is the type of shit they need to see in these parks. We don't have this in Philly. We don't have this type of shit in Philly. They, they spread it around, but they not in Philly like this. In New York, you go to any park, this is what they got in here. So I love y'all, man. I'm about to get back on my shit. But we are the leaders of our village. Don't let nobody psychologically manipulate you and believe in otherwise. All right? Love y'all.